Hey everyone, welcome back. D4, my favorite. I think I'm just going to start playing D5 into D4. Probably bring out the light square bishop here. Um, yeah, that's probably fine for now. He's playing an almost London system. If he would have brought his knight out to d2 here, it kind of would have been London system-y. I'm going to offer the exchange of a dark square bishops here. Or do I want to push c5? He's looking for the fork right here. Uh, I think I have to push... No, I can't push that, right? He's in a... Hold on. I think I have to push d6, right? Bishop d6, right? I see seven's a trap. And it comes with check, and then I can't do anything else. If he doesn't take here, I can push up c6, try to go for this a5 check, and then win the knight with the queen. Yeah, I'm looking for the a5 check with the queen. His uh, knight is very loose there. Yeah, he has to get his knight out of here to protect it. He's going to be wasting some moves here. Hmm. Hmm. I can get the knight out or just castle here. I think castling here is just going to be the best bet. And next we'll probably just try to kick his knight. Could maybe try to figure out some way to like pin his queen. Won't be surprised if he castles. I'm trying to get into the habit of just castling before before move ten. So he's a, got two attackers on d6 there. I think we just play knight e4 and just add another defender to d6. I could also go queen b6 and pin his knight. I kind of like that idea. Queen b6 just pins his knight. 
I also could plain just attack his queen with a5. Hmm. I actually kind of like that move. It blocks the queen from coming in on a5, though, which I don't really like, so I think... Yeah, gosh, I don't know. Do I want to protect or attack here? Mm. Also has just a loose pawn here. I need to get the other knight out too, though. I guess I could just bring my knight out and attack his queen, huh? Only downside to that is that if he takes the pawn, I'm just losing it once we trade off. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just uh, get the knight into a slightly better position here. I guess what's bad about this is that I don't have a great place to go if he pushes f3. Maybe I should have went a a5 here. Hmm. I think he'll push f3, honestly. If he pushes f3, I'm going to push a5. I wonder if uh, knight a6 is a move as well. Knight a6 seems like it could be a move. Yeah, the knight move was... yeah. I was expecting that, so I think I'm just going to have to harass a5. Or harass his queen on b4 with a5 here. Mm -hmm. I think sadly I'm going to be losing the, the d6 pawn here. I honestly think queen b6 was the play. I basically just wasted a move here. Kind of a bummer, but... Yeah, I'm losing this pawn. Just a bummer. Maybe kicking the knight was the better play there. I'm not quite sure. I'd be surprised if he doesn't go knight d6. It attacks the b7 pawn as well. He 
still hasn't castled. Yeah, he can win a pawn here. I don't know. It's a very aggressive move, but... You know, I don't know. I'd like to try to harass, like, this square somehow. Maybe it's worth it just to go c7. He's going to be attacking the bishop as well. Maybe I just take uh, the pawn. If he takes the pawn, so be it, I guess. Maybe it's just better for me to keep my light square bishop. Could just push the pawn up too. But I'm only the bishop, so... I mean, I guess it is an even trade. Mm -hmm. What am I risking by playing queen c7? We'll see if that pays off, I guess. He might push a pawn up, I don't know. I probably want to just neutralize his knight more than uh, I want to go for. I guess I don't really have this option here. He can probably just castle and be fine. I guess if I take c2, he can't castle queen side, which is good. I think he's forced to just push the pawn up here. If he pushes e4, that would be like the best thing for me. Hmm. Protect c2 there. Uh, yeah, I won't think about that too hard. I want to put the rook out on e8 and see if I can try to abuse the pin. Also, the knight just plain needs to come out. Mm-hmm.
Mm, he's probably going to castle next. Let's think here. Boom, 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 boom. I need to get the knight out and just connect the rooks already. Except I really wanted to go d7 with the knight. But I can't go boom, boom. I think we'll just try that. I might go like f4 with the knight. It should be kind of weird, but who knows. He could put his bishop out here, pin the knight. He'll probably just unpin it if that's what ends up happening. Yeah, saw that coming. I mean, I'm moving my queen around a lot, which is kind of annoying. I'll go here and just attack his pawn. No, I can't do that. It's protected. I'm kind of looking for knight b4, c2. That would be a pretty sick move. But I feel like he has pretty good awareness of what's going on on the board. Um, so I think he'll notice it, but I think it's worth a shot either way. He's kind of just setting him up for himself up for like the ultimate fork here. Let's see what he ends up doing. In my humble opinion, it's a very good time for him to castle. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to be very intent on castling. Yeah, C2 is like the ultimate fork square. It's like a royal fork and then Add in an extra rook on top of that, too. A very simple tactic, but I think... I think he'll notice it, but... Who knows? Maybe he won't. Even if he ends up castling before C to knight c2, it would still just win a rook, so... We'll get some material back.
What's it gonna be, man? Moves the queen over. Tries to go for the pawn. Hmm. Yeah, he protects c2 now. Uh, it's actually protected, so I'm not too worried about it. I actually still kind of want to go for this because it's protected by the queen. Knight b4. I really like knight b4. It's protected by the queen over here on c7. I still think that's the best move. I'm not sure what he's planning. It doesn't really make sense. I could just go kick his queen one more time too. I don't know, that just uh I'd lose a rook. Just kidding. I don't know. Seems like a decent setup here. Very simple move, but uh, very powerful. Well, while he's thinking about that, I hope everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving weekend. I did. I actually got to play just a lot of over-the-board chess uh, with some friends, which is pretty cool. Some friends and some relatives, that was fun. I don't get to do that very often. So it's fun to get some games in. Hmm. I mean, do I just bring the rook out here and just go for the ultimate battery? <laughs> um, I could almost go here. This pawn is pinned. I feel like I could kind of bring this rook in at this point and then just start trying to win on over here. Yeah, why not? I was almost tempted to just take the pawn there and trade off um, just to like ruin his pawn structure. I don't think it would be a good idea though because I'd basically be down three points of material so it would be very hard to find something there. But he probably has to go rook d2 here just to add another defender to the c pawn. Or just push up the c pawn and attack the knight. I think the knight can really only jump back to like a5. Yeah. That was expected. I mean, this pawn is pinned, so can I take advantage of this somehow? Yeah, that pawn can't actually attack. <laughs> so I think it's kind of safe for the time being, to tell you the truth. Uh, if his rook wasn't here, I would just go for the check. But, unfortunately... I can just go attack his bishop too. 
Hmm. His knight's kind of loose. Yeah, the pawn's pinned, so I kind of want to just see if I can take advantage of the pin. Can I just attack the bishop? Mm, whatever. He can't take the knight. It's pinned. Knight's defended by the pawn. Bishop's not attacking anything. Kind of want to just take that. It brings the rook out. He's attacking this pawn. You don't really want to lose it. Maybe I should just go protect it on e6. The pawn is uh, hanging right there. Uh, he can't really defend it with anything except for the king, so I think I'm actually just going to do that. He still can't take the knight. Yeah, how can he protect that pawn? Only with the king. And something tells me he's not going to Put his king out there. He might, actually. I actually think king d2 is the best move here. As weird as that is. He needs to move his king over so he can um, force the knight to move. I think if he moves his king, I'll probably just take the bishop. Well, maybe, I don't know. I might actually just move it back to like a5, or a6, excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, e3 is going to come with check. And then I'll have two attackers on d2, the queen and the knight. He actually did find the best move. I Personally, I feel like that's the best move. Uh, so the knight is attacked now, so... Um, hmm. I'm going to be losing this pawn. Mm. Yeah, it's too bad I can't get in there, huh? You have check this way, but... I think we just have to do the trade here and try to find some better tactic. I mean, the good thing for me now is that his king is a bit out there. I kind of want to go check here and just protect the pawn. I'd be forced back here. That actually wins a knight. Well, no, he could go back. Hmm. If he goes c2, I can win the knight. And he goes d2, which is probably the best move. It protects the knight. Mm. And go attack the queen. I really want to bring my rook in here.
Just a bit of a forcing move here. Goes for the queen. Or excuse me, goes for the goes for the pawn with his queen. That's what I meant to say. I could protect that. Nah, there's no other way I could protect that. I don't really want to lose this pawn for some reason. I don't know. Part of me wants to just push up f4 so I can plant my knight. No, I can't even do that. Sack a knight. <laughs> uh, let's just go protect it. Oh, I just hung a pawn. Ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, feels bad. Feels bad, bro. I'll just bring the rook out and try to start looking for stuff this way. Hmm. Could attack his queen, bring the rook out here. But um I think this battery's a little bit stronger. He's playing well. He's playing well. How can I say? What? Is that just? Then just hang a knight. Did I miss something. I think he just hangs a knight and a pawn. Am I missing something? I missed something. Hangs a knight and a pawn. The rook is defended over here. Only problem is I can't get out here to e2 because of the knight, but still winning the knight is really strong. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I've got to improve the knight somehow. It's just been kind of tough to find. Hmm. Well... I just lose the game. I actually think I have to go put the queen over here. Because he has the two attackers. So I think I have to actually put the queen out. To not lose here. Actually, do I have to? I don't think I have to, actually. Can I block that in with a knight too? Let me think about this. Hmm. Um, I feel like I can just 
take here? If he takes, I can just push up. I don't think this is going to work out how he wants it to. Plus, I have the knight defending e8. Um, that's fine. I have two defenders on e8. He has two attackers, so we're fine. Worst case scenario, I can always just go queen b8 if I need to add another one. Really? Kind of want to just offer the trade to tell you the truth. I can just get out. Yeah, if he takes with the queen, it's just lost. If he takes with uh, the rook, I'm fine. Yeah, I don't think he saw that. Okay. I lose this pawn, but do I really care? I'll lose the pawn, but oh well. I think I'm going to be doing more damage in the long term. Hmm. Such an awkward spot for the queen. I only have a minute left. Yeah, let him have it. <laughs> I'm going to gobble up all his pawns over here. He does have a lot of pawns on his side of the board, though. What's that do? Just to check, I guess. Oh no. Uh. It's fine. How are we going to get this king out of this hot mess? If I go here, he gets the check, and then I just lose the knight. And my knight's loose.
Now is it my turn? Hmm. Maybe that's a mistake. This is a pawn, that sucks. But maybe that's okay. I think I should have taken the pawn there. The king was defending that. That was a bad move. Mainly just trying to block in here. I think he could easily just run his pawn down the board. I'm surprised he hasn't done that yet. This sucks. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Hmm. My only hope here is that he tries to promote.
Yeah, if you attack the knight, I have to go attack somewhere. Hmm. That's a lot of pawns to try and stop. I have to just try and run mine up the board. Just gonna try to buy some time here. He's going to be winning the knight with check. Um. I think he's just promoting, unfortunately. Yeah, he promotes and I lose my queen, so I think we're just going to play for stalemate here. I think I've kind of screwed up the end game as usual. He played really well, man. What can I say? So if he moves his king back to c5, I'm just going to try to look for the, the repetition. Well, I think that was a blunder on his part. I think his best bet was to look for uh Uh-huh. Um Maybe I can take this pawn. Mm -hmm. Does get me that pawn. He moves his queen, I promote. Then I'll be in a pretty good spot. Mm, I actually should just go for the queen trade here, I think. I like that pawn, man. I don't want to give it up.
I think I should have taken with the queen there. But I wanted to force the check. Need to promote this one stupid pawn or just trade off already. Um, that seems like a huge blunder. Uh, I don't know why he would go for the queen trade there, it doesn't really make sense, but whatever. That's basically just one. I could have went for the check. Yeah, I, I don't know where, uh, why he went for the queen trade there. Um, I thought he had a chance. Um, Yeah, I played a handful of bad moves, but I think he kind of just cracked under the time pressure here. So, a bit strange, but... Yeah, that was kind of a hard-fought... Hard-fought uh, battle there in the end game. I think, honestly, the winning move was putting the queen onto a8. That seems like the one thing that saved me there, but let's just do a quick recap of the stats. I'm sure the eval bar is like all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he just made a few more mis- or let's see. Yeah, he just made a few more mistakes in the end game. Let's just see where it fell apart for him. Great move here. I actually thought when he moved his king back, that was the worst thing he could have done. What, what does the engine say about a8? A8 is best, yeah. I think that was the only way to stop the promotion there. So, but yeah, GG, Bully72, good game. Um, A bit chaotic, but uh, yeah, fun game. So thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.